Hey guys, you're watching Daniel G on React, and today we're going to check out the official trailer for the brand new Minty Fresh Viakti Kivali. Uh, came out a few hours ago, and we get to react to it tonight. Before I get started, just want to make sure that you guys are active on our subreddit. You see it up there on the screen right there. Every week we'll do a new post, and we'll pin that post to the page. The top three trailers that have been upvoted will be selected for the to react to the following week, and then once per month, the top, the highest rated uh, upvoted movie will be a movie that we react to the following month. And this week for the end of the year, we're going to do something a little different. We want you guys to submit your favorite segments from our, our year here, and we're going to do our own YouTube year in review for the final episode of Reaction Hour in of 2018. Year, yeah. So favorite trailers, favorite moments during reviews, like whatever you guys liked from us, submit it to us using the hashtag DG Rewind, and then we'll get to it. There we in, go. In the reaction hour. But uh, let's get started. Let's do it. Smash that like button and su subscribe if you're not a subscriber. That's a long name. I don't know. My name's pretty long. Spande. Shunak that car asks, did you subscribe to T-Series? Honestly, I know there's a beef between T-Series and PewDiePie. Not sure what the beef is. Haven't really looked into it, but... I don't even think you've watched one PewDiePie video ever. No, I've watched like bits and pieces. I've never watched a whole PewDiePie video. <laughs> so I'm right. Yeah. Uh, we're team PewDiePie though. Just because... T-Series has blocked our shit before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's pretty much that simple. Uh, although, although I will say, thanks to motherfucking PewDiePie, no one's making money anymore because he decided to use Fiverr and have like, you know what you know what it's all about, yeah, right? Yeah, like yeah. he had all those. I don't even. I don't, I don't know if they were Indian, like something. They were like some part of the world where they were using Fiverr and they were like wearing Nazi memorabilia and holding up signs that they couldn't read and stuff like that. Right. And then the fucking shitty ass Washington Post. It's your fault, actually, not PewDiePie, because PewDiePie. Who the fuck is he harming by doing that? Yeah, it's a it's a stupid. It's a dumb fucking joke. It's a dumb But game. Washington Post. So the whole reason why I said what I said right now, American real quickly. American media just ruining everything. Washington Post had nothing to report on, and they were like, hey Coke, hey GM, hey Chevy, like, do you guys want to support someone who does this for your channel? And then, of course, in today's day and age, they have to respond, so they're like, oh no, we do not support this, so we're gonna pull all of our ads off YouTube, and YouTube literally was like, oh fuck, they got copy striked. Like, <laughs> the, the economy of the world copy striked. 
fucking YouTube in that moment. And YouTube and, had to make a decision. Okay, do we, do we, what do we do? And then it fucked everybody. Everyone got fucked. I mean, that's why you lost like Filthy Frank, the, like YouTubers out there. Cause they just, they went from making a living on this platform to So not. They're, where are they at? On Twitch now? Who knows? Filthy Frank, he's, he does music. Joji. You've heard his music, you've shown me his Oh, music. the Korean rapper? Australian, Japanese, Cardin Carlos. But yeah, you you know, you, you've seen him before. Anyway, anyway, we're getting wish off topic you, here. Wish you had a microphone right now, Carlos. But yeah. uh, no, I, yeah, no, we're not subscribed to it. But uh, thanks for the question, and uh, please check out the rest of our discussion, what's gonna happen right now. Well guys, Daniel is trying to figure out who the hell this movie's about, because apparently it's a biopic, um, and we're having a lot of trouble, so in the comment section, maybe you guys could let us know. Also, thank you for watching our first Ask DG. This is uh, the first of many that we're going to be including in all of our reaction videos, uh, especially 2019. But uh, the trailer itself was, um, if it's a biopic, and since I have zero reference to who the guy is, the movie, I wasn't very interested in the trailer. I guess that's a better way of putting it. Because I was like, yeah, he seemed like a weirdo, you know, but what did he do? And nothing in the trailer showed what he did other than is he an actor? That he became a famous actor, even though he was like, he had was a Marathi, or some shit. Marathi writer and humorist from Maharashtra. I can't really fucking see. Maharashtra. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he was accomplished, also an accomplished film and stage actor, script writer, author, composer, musician, singer, and orator. He died in 2000, so he died at the ripe age of 80. Um, I can see that much. Okay, so he's an old actor. First time anybody really brings this up to us, though. Like, uh, yeah, never heard. I mean, all of his, his all of his works were in the fifties and forties. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, what I liked about this trailer the most was was this was like basically Daniel, um, the way he acts. That's totally Daniel all the time. I mean, I don't know about that, but with all his girlfriends, um, I've never asked any. But of nobody ever laughs at his jokes. That's uh, that's uh, that's the one part. I guess. I you guess know. that's the route of this reaction. Yeah. When, when, when in doubt, just shit, shit on, on me. Daniel. When, when you have nothing else to talk about. <laughs> nah, I mean, it, other than it looking nice, I just didn't, it just, I just didn't care about anything. I think you have to know, if you're familiar with this, with this individual. I see, I, I disagree. I don't think you have to know. I think it was their job to make people that don't know who this is interested in watching to learn about who well i was gonna say if yeah. you're familiar with him you're gonna enjoy the trailer you didn't even let you cut me off oh because i agree with what you said that's 100 percent what it is kind of like I'm sanju saying, yeah with, with the, the movie itself although i would fucking argue that if i knew all about fucking sanjay dutt that sanju would still be a piece of shit film because <laughs> it was a piece of shit film at the end of the day and we should talk about that for a second because we actually we've been wanting to talk about that in other videos, and it's probably a good time to talk about it now because no one will watch this video, right. and then we can still do that video later, and it'll be fresh. Yes. But the conversation is, you know, should a movie like people like to say well, you don't understand, Daniel, you don't understand, Gian, you're not Indian, you don't have the context of what it's like, and we always argue that that is a factor. You know, where you were raised, what, how you were uh, brought up, and all this stuff. It's a factor in watching a movie that takes place in a certain village, in a certain X, Y, or Z. But, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the film still needs to work as a film. And us as outsiders are allowed to be a little bit more objective. Look, yeah, absolutely. And the way I look at it is, okay, there's certain things where I'll agree with you. Uh, uh, for example the singing and dancing segments of the film. That is 100% a cultural thing. It's expected in Indian films. So if you don't get it, a lot of the, the regular lay crowd is gonna be upset because they're, they're showing uh, expecting that. That's fine, we don't have to like that because that's definitely not made for us. But the rest of the film around those songs are, I mean, the stories are completely the same. Every story, no matter what you, some people try to argue it's not the same. All the, 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 the structures of all the stories are exactly the same as any other narrative in any other film industry across the entire planet, you know. There's still the same key and Yes, elements. we know there's exceptions. There's all exceptions. Like, people are like, well, what about this movie? This, I mean, yeah, okay, like the majority of the films follow the structure. I mean, you know, and I challenge you to throw a film that doesn't stick to some sort of structure that we all know you know, because I'll pick it apart and then I'll get real film school on you and tell you why you're wrong. You know, 
and it, and a lot of times if it doesn't, it probably sucks. You know, that's the other part. Like the films that try to go way off the traditional beaten path are usually pretty shitty, and only like a select few people that are like real nose in the air kind of fart sniffers will try to defend how how wonderful or great it is. You know, I don't second that opinion, but uh -huh. I know where he's coming from. Cause I like he got triggered because he is a fart sniffer himself at times. You guys know you've watched him. You've heard you've seen his solo reviews. He gets a little. I'm just saying, but but I think but I, I we say all this to say when we watch this trailer, eh, yeah, eh. and then the movie could be great, but the whole purpose of the trailer is to grab us grab our attention. I mean, they got a cast too. He looks exactly like. Not well, pretty close to the actual guys. We're looking at his picture on Wikipedia. It's up but on the screen. But that doesn't right mean there. shit. No, if you I look, mean I, if you look like the well, guy. Well, that's what I'm okay, saying. Good, that, good makeup. That, but, but that's that. what I'm saying. That's the best part of the trailer is that they cast it. You know, <laughs> or makeup. I don't know. I, I don't know what the other guy looks like in real life. They could have put some makeup eh? on him. I mean, I'm just saying. Daniel Day Lewis looked great in Lincoln. Doesn't mean Lincoln was a great movie. Okay, I thought you liked that. I thought it was okay. I, I, I didn't great. see it. I so it was he was good, but how the fuck do I know what Lincoln was like? Are you serious? What about all the fucking... His voice, the way he walked around? I don't know how to do that shit. Did you already forget the 1861 documentary, This Life of Lincoln? I did. All right. <laughs> I mean, my, my first exposure to what Lincoln sound like was at uh, Disneyland at the Hall of Presidents. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's hilarious in itself. Like, how... There's no way anyone could verify it because no, sound recording definitely didn't exist back there and they definitely didn't have film. They just had a picture. You yeah, could they, take pictures. Yeah, and they're like, okay, by the way he looks, and we know he was like 6'5 or something or maybe taller than that, he had to sound like this, you know. Or, uh, or maybe someone was... What if, what if Lincoln sounded like a weasel and that's why they wanted to kill him? Because they, like, he wants to do all these cool things, but he just sounds like a fucking chipmunk. Like, I just can't... That'd be pretty scores, seeming years and and then that fucking, would be pretty petty. They're just like fuck, Lincoln. Bah, and then he died. He died. He got killed in 1863. Yeah. So there was people alive, and maybe somebody was around who was still alive to when they built the Hall of Presidents at Disney and could verify what his voice <laughs> sounds like. And then Walt Disney was like, "He sounds like a bitch. You gotta <laughs> add some octaves to his voice. No one's gonna take this seriously. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Anyways, guys." That's going to do it for us. Thanks for watching. You know the drill. Smash that like button. Leave comments. Let us know what you think. We will see you on the next one.